Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, you know we'll have a little rant here at uh, something about uh, the insider builds that we're getting on dev channel. So Microsoft uh, uses something called A-B testing. What that means is for example when I show you some of the features you might notice that some of the features implemented I don't have them. Or sometimes I have them, but I'll have comments from you guys saying, well, I don't have it. And that's because Microsoft doesn't push the new features on the, the dev channel insiders to everybody at the same time. It tests them on some machines, and those machines are apparently chosen totally by random. So there's no, apparently there's nothing you do that might make you a candidate for the new stuff. It's apparently random. And so you end up with, oh, I got Fluent Design here and maybe not. Or I got this new app and you don't. And I've got this uh, new feature and you don't. Or you have this new feature and I don't have it. Which is personally extremely frustrating and I think very, very useless. If we think about it for a second here, just thinking of A-B testing. What does A-B testing bring to anyone? Um, except for frustration for those that don't get the new features, I don't see any advantages. They say it's because they want to see how people react to a new setting or a new feature. Okay, but how does that compare to people that don't have it? I, I don't get it. It's There's something that is totally useless in doing this. And like I said, I think it's more of a nuisance. I think a lot of you out there are having more of a problem with A-B testing than, you know, just push the darn stuff to everybody. And you know what? We'll, if you don't like it or we don't like it, we're going to tell you. And you just remove it at some future update. It's It's so weird. You know, one of them I was showing you guys is the, um, for example, the accounts page, which I don't have, or, you know, the uh, right clicking on a, uh, on something to get the uh, open width. So I go here, right click, and I do the open width thing, and it's like choose an app. And I, I still have the old uh, way of doing things. I don't have the new fluent, translucent, beautiful, um, menu. In what does that um, do or give anything of information to Microsoft about the, you know, except the fact that I'm extremely annoyed at not having it right now, even though some of you have it on your PC. It's, it's nonsense. I'm sorry, but this is nonsense. Um, talking about nonsense and talking about nuisances. So a lot of you, of course, have noticed uh, a few little things that didn't work right. I have a higher than normal rate of people commenting saying that uh, Bill 22567 is ending in a green screen of death for them. So this is kind of interesting. I've noticed also a higher number of people on unsupported hardware telling me it's rolling back. It doesn't work. And of course, some have kind of said, well, is that because it's the end of unsupported hardware uh you know i don't think so i think it's true premature to 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 say if you do have that problem on the unsupported hardware usually microsoft when you're unsupported and they just don't want you on the uh, builds anymore pushes you back to windows 10 and sends you to the release preview ring um so i think it's probably more of a bug in this build so it has more bugs than a lot of other builds um, I got dozens of messages of, of comments from people that have exactly the same problem. Right click and we have a restart of the file explorer uh, or explorer.exe probably because of the uh, you know crash of the desktop and the taskbar. So uh, that is, seems to be a big problem, very common to a lot of people. 
And so, uh, anyways, wanted to rant a little bit. Also wanted to talk about all of this and, um, you know, talk about some of the problems that people are having. That is uh, kind of interesting to, uh, to see here. So, uh, also, maybe you have noticed, but my weather is gone and the widgets. I don't have the weather anymore. I've got, oh, I've got it. It's back. It kind of needed a refresh or something. Oh, well, that probably, uh, probably because of the restart. Let's try that again. If I crash, let's crash, and it gets back to, it gets back to, yeah, okay, that's the crash. The crash removes the weather uh, on the widget, and so it has to kind of refresh the weather before it works again. Okay, so anyways, uh, there are some problems, and this is part of the dev channel builds. You know, they are builds to, that technically could have more problems than the average um, build so that's why I don't recommend dev channel to everyone and uh, Microsoft please stop the a b testing nonsense it doesn't have any purpose that I can see useful if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching